The Thrive Hood Podcast is a useful resource for boys and young men who want to thrive as they mature into manhood. I'll be your host, Tim Williams, and welcome to the Thrive Hood Podcast. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Thrive Hood Podcast, and I am your host, Tim Williams, and as always, I am appreciative of you stopping by and checking out whatever crazy stuff I've got to say, <laughs> so thanks for continuing to tune in. Hey, I want to dive into today's episode, and I want to say up front, this was not an episode that I had planned to do this early on. You know, when I started this podcast, I had quite a few ideas and thoughts rolling around in this noggin of mine, and and I really didn't have this in the in the planning stages. But over the last couple of weeks, after an article that I read, I felt like maybe it's time for me to step out and talk about this. And we'll just I just want to make a few points, just some thoughts that I want to share. A couple of weeks ago, there was a young boy. I think he was getting ready to turn 13, and he had been on Zoom calls, like maybe some of you that are listening right now, uh, in exchange for going to school. So obviously doing school uh, remotely and through uh, Zoom calls, which I think most of us even know what Zoom is now. A year ago, probably very few of us did. And through that experience, this young boy had been really alienated, isolated from a lot of his friends and I think some of his family members and even some cousins and people that he was really close to. And unfortunately, because of that isolation, this young boy decided to take his life. It was a tragic story, just a sad, sad commentary for this young man that had such a great opportunity and a life ahead of him. And after I read that story for a couple of weeks, it was really just mulling that over and thinking about it and processing it. And while we, we could talk about this for hours and we could have discussions that come from every angle, I, I really kind of settled on a couple of thoughts that came from that article. And I want to share these with you, if you don't mind just giving me your attention for a few minutes. The, the first thought and the first point that I want to just dive into for a few minutes, I would like for you young men, as you're listening to this, to consider your future. And maybe another way to say that is to not let your current situation dictate your future opportunities. I want to say that again. Don't let your current situation dictate your future opportunities. What is, obviously this was a sad story, no doubt about it, but what also added more grief and sorrow to it was that this young boy didn't live out his life long enough to get on the backside of this huge challenge that has affected not only the United States, but the whole world, right? He never gave himself a chance to see what life could be on the backside of this. And while I know that this is a challenge, while I know that COVID has taken a lot of lives, I, I don't know, two and a half million worldwide, I think was the last count, and, and most everyone has been impacted at some level. You know, I have. I've known some people that have passed away and have been sick from it. What I'm speaking to you today is in terms of decision making that we are confronted with when we have challenges that may seem just too overwhelming to bear. That's where I want us to focus on for a few minutes here. I want to tell you that most of the pain that we feel and most of the pain that we're suffering now, and, and not just COVID, but challenges and obstacles and the darkness that we face for the rest of our lives is very temporary. We have to put in perspective the amount of pain or sorrow that maybe we, be, will, we may be facing from time to time as it relates to the whole life that we live, right? We right now, as far as uh, adult male adults in the U.S., the life expectancy is almost 80 years for us as we grow up, as we live this life. If you can imagine and put in perspective, maybe the last year, maybe it's going to be two years that you're sort of having to ch having to deal with this challenge that you're faced with of of home learning and learning from Zoom and not really being able to be with friends and and those. Uh, 
uh, closest to you, realize that in the scheme of 80 years, a year or two years, isn't that long. It's not that long. What if someone were to come to you and say, hey, you know, you can have a fairly decent life and minimal challenges if you'll just take a couple of years and just suffer. Well, man, who wouldn't sign up for that? You know, of course, there's challenges all along the way, and that doesn't go away. But the point I'm making is, and what I want to share with you is, understand that the, the, the circumstances surrounding your current situation don't have to decide your future. You guys have got a big, bright, beautiful world out there. It is waiting for you, you know, and we have to keep in perspective the short sacrifices that we make for the long-term gain. You can talk to especially athletes, well, anybody, athletes, entrepreneurs, CEOs, what do they always tell you? Man, you have to sacrifice, you have to work hard, you have to give up, you know, free time and sometimes uh, relationships and, and uh, those sort of things. And I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I'm not saying give up relationships, but to my bigger point is that there are sacrifices sometimes that have to be made for the long-term haul. And so just keep in mind as you're moving through this, get it in perspective, get it back into line with understanding that this pain is temporary. We will get past this. We will have uh, hope. There is hope. You know, we're, we're, we're going to get beyond this. And I want to just encourage you and tell you that, that you will and that you can. The second point that I want to make is that you do need to live to tell your story yet again. And, and by, let me say this real quick, by no means am I judging or chastising what this boy did. That, that's not what this is about at all. I'm just, I saw a story and there were some thoughts and some things that came to me that I felt I wanted to share. So keep, please keep it in perspective. But this young man taking his life didn't allow himself to be able to tell future generations of what he was able to overcome. Wouldn't it have been wonderful if he were to be able to live through this and get to the other side and maybe tell his, his children and maybe his grandchildren that, you know, he, he came through this and, you know, look at what he is today. And, and that's the sad part of this. In addition to all of the, the all of the sorrow that his family's going to face is, there, there isn't a hope there, you know, history is a great teacher and it can give hope and show what endurance is like to future generations. How about World War II? And there are many of those people that were in concentration camps. Go check out the Anne Frank's book, a Diary of a Young Woman. There's Viktor Frankl who wrote the book, uh, Man's Search for Meaning. I get inspired by that. I... Uh, when I'm reading speeches or books, I'm reading articles or watching documentaries, I get inspired by those people that have come before me that have had challenges. And to hear their story, to hear what they have dealt with and what they've come through, man, it, it empowers me. It tells me that I have the endurance to be able to move beyond where I am right now. As a matter of fact, go back, you know, 100, 125 years. Let's start around the early 1900s. Just, just track with me for a minute. The beginning of the 1900s, we had World War I. 1918, the Spanish flu showed up, which killed anywhere, records say anywhere from 50 to 100 million people. Then we had the Great Depression. We had World War II. The Korean War showed up, which is the forgotten conflict that a lot of people don't realize that was sort of the precursor to the Vietnam War. You know, we're up to the 60s now. Uh, there was the, the racial and civil unrest that was taking place in the 60s going into the 70s. The dot-com bust that happened in the 80s. Uh, 2001, the Twin Towers attack. Uh, then we got into the uh, early 2000s, to, well, around 2012, 2011, 2012. The Great Recession that was due to the housing bubble, which... I would say was the second worst depression of all time in American history. And, you know, bam, here we are 2021 and we're dealing with COVID. You have to realize that you're not alone. 
And you have to realize that every generation that has come before you and will come after you is going to face some type of tragedy. It seems to be the nature of how things are. And as much as I wish I could give you hope that you're never going to face any more major challenges, I can't do that. But if I can't do that, then how about continuing to read and to speak with those people if you can and read articles and get information from the people that have come before you so that you can be inspired. And as a result of that, how about paying that forward? Give your story, tell your story to generations that are coming up behind you. Look, you guys, you, we have a lot of generation Zers that are listening to this podcast. You're going to grow up to be husbands fathers, leaders, uh, CEOs, entrepreneurs, athletes, accomplished athletes, you know, congressmen, statesmen, inventors, trendsetters. There is a future well beyond this moment in time that you're living right now. And to be able to share with your sons and daughters and grandsons and granddaughters, nieces and nephews and others, all you're doing is you're just giving them the will to continue. You're showing them that endurance pays off. You're showing them that you can get through this struggle. And it may not be another you know, huge United States or world event that they're struggling with. It could be simple little challenges. We are all fighting battles and we're all individually fighting small wars within our own lives. And I don't see anything wrong with us being able to take a little bit of wisdom and knowledge and understanding and experience that we have come through and to share that with previous generations that are coming up behind us. So let me just recap real quickly. I, I just want to say this. Don't let your current situation dictate your future opportunities, whatever that is, whatever that darkness is that you're facing or that you're dealing with. Realize that it is temporary. You're going to get past this and then take that opportunity, you know, write it down, put it in a note, start a, you know, a diary or whatever the case may be, do a video log or something, do your, start blogging, whatever the case, so that you can tell your story to future generations and show them that there is, there is the ability to sustain and to, and to survive through this. Part of the reason that I brought you this message is today is because of what the name of this podcast is. It's Thrivehood, right? I am hoping that you young men out there that are listening, that you're not just surviving, okay? That you're just not barely hanging on, but that you are thriving through these uh, wonderful years of your life as you're moving into adulthood, that you don't have to just barely hang on, but that you can rise above challenges in your life that you're facing, regardless of your background, regardless of where you are right now. And you can actually move beyond what's in front of you. I've told my, my kids a number of times, I've said, look, you, you can't let ex external challenges dictate how you're going to respond. The great Lou Holtz, some of you may or may not know of him, but he was a fantastic and, in my mind, one of the greatest football coaches of all time for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, had this quote. He said, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. That is so true. That is what I'm hoping that you guys, the conclusion that you guys will come to when you realize that just hardships are going to happen. Things are going to take place, but you will survive. You will grow from it. And how about leaving a legacy of telling future generations of what you were able to endure? So I hope you got some info out of that. Uh, I, I don't always want to talk about really heavy subjects, but man, this was just something really that was on my heart. I wanted to share and hope you got something out of it. And until next time, that's right, guys. Stay strong.